Today, uh, the Anglican Schools Commission looks very different to our establishment 30 years ago when we had one school and 250 students. Today, we have 14 schools on 16 campuses across three states. My school educates around about 1,000 students and the Anglican Schools Commission educates uh, 13,500 students. It's huge. <laughs> We're also proud now to be partners in mission with the Diocese of Wangaratta and thrilled that we have schools in three states today. The founders of the Anglican Schools Commission were strong supporters of all that was excellent in existing Anglican schools before 1985 and they wanted to extend the opportunity to far more children to have that quality education. The Anglican Schools Commission aims to keep its fees as low as it possibly can and to make them as affordable to as many people as possible. Anybody is welcome. We do not have an uh, examination that tells you you have to belong to this particular church community or this particular faith tradition in order to belong. Whoever you are, if you want to share and have empathy with what we are on about, you're welcome. The focus of my school is not necessarily on the Christian side of things, but rather the values that go along with the Christian faith, so even students from a different background can fit in. The key strength of the system is that it's underpinned by a set of very strong values to which all the schools subscribe. And this is where I think the Anglican Schools Commission comes into its own because its values are very clear and transparent. Faith is one of our core values which we find really important because during class when you answer a question, it doesn't matter if you get it incorrectly or correctly, you'll always learn from it. Parents know that if they want to send their child to a school that espouses values such as faith, inclusivity, excellence and justice, then our system provides a school for their child. Amongst the most important values that can underpin a school and the Anglican Schools Commission, I think is a recognition of the inherent worth of every student and staff member of every family. Often the way that you treat people will end up be the way that you get treated. So it's important that you have a strong set of values and beliefs that can help you really learn to interact with people because in life that's, that's what life is. No matter where you are, no matter what you do. I know if I wasn't taught some of these values I might be a bit more rude to adults. All students need to work on something. I mean, we're not perfect, but that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get you as close as perfect as possible. I think our mission is well translated in what happens every day in the classrooms and playgrounds of each of our schools, where our principals, our teachers, our chaplains, the support staff go really out of their way to offer the best possible education for the young people in their care. Well, my general school environment is more like a really large family. We all know each other, we all get along really well. The friends that I've made are like my sisters basically. I think that as a school we have a wonderful opportunity uh, to be forming students, not just as thinkers, but also as lovers, as people who love things that are worthy of love, who seek after things that are good and worth seeking after. I think values, education values really grounds that and gives students so much more um, than just head knowledge. For me, the Anglican, the core purpose of the Anglican Schools Commission is in fact to enable that those who come into our environment actually have an opportunity to hear the whisper beyond all whispers that will make them be attentive to follow that love which has created them, redeemed them and made them what they are called to become. One of the most important values of our system is that of diversity and it's great to see how each school responds in its own way to the needs of its own community. If someone is different, you don't go up to them and are scared of them because maybe they're different and you don't bully them because they're different, which is nice because everybody's different. You know, there's not one type of person. The school represents individuality, which is really nice. Because education actually is a faith exercise. It's drawing forth meaning and purpose. If these are the young people that we are, you know, being a part of, and we often condemn the next generation, well, I'll tell you what, they have much more strong desire to know meaning than many of us have had in our lifetime. 
they say to have faith because you know if you try to do something once and you fail or get it wrong they don't want you to just be like oh whatever I'm useless I can't do this anymore they want you to have faith that I can do this um, carry on seeing little children come in and then 13 years later see them graduate as fine young men and women and to meet them in later years too when they have their own children coming to the same school and hear them talk about what their school meant to them and that's when you get the greatest pleasure. I recall then the great excitement and enthusiasm when I took up my post and I must say nearly 15 years later I remain as passionate and excited about my role today. I think the school has shaped who I am and they help me find who I want to be and what I want to be when I'm older. There is a kind of fearful dignity to the human person. So if we as school communities and as the ASC can be seen to embody that conviction of the worth, value and dignity of every human person, I think that that is something that is so important in our culture and in our world. The school environment is built on respect, it's founded on respect and it's really evident that you can have an opinion or an idea no matter who you are or what it's about and it's, it's accepted and you are given the chance to share it with everyone. Our work in schools is uh, all about young people and it's so exciting that there's such a growing demand for uh, the work that we are doing and that's why ASC schools are the church's good news story.